I think it's just the astonishment sometimes when you actually see the technology you've been working on, when you see it demonstrated in a real life situation. It's just wonderful to see that the students have gone out in a field and created something. Our interest is always in pushing the boundaries. Technology has changed so dramatically and so rapidly that there is always something new on the horizon. We've been running MSc courses in surveying and positioning related activities for over 20 years now, but it's only in the last five or six years that we've moved to this facility here that we've really been able to build on that. And it's not only building on the facilities we've got, it's the links with industry. We have companies actually based in the building as well, so students get direct access to some of the companies working in the field. You get to know what people are trying, what, what new cutting edge things people are trying to do. We try and involve anything that is new into our lectures so that the students are aware of it. This is what we call our navigation test vehicle. It allows us to test navigation equipment in typical uh, road environments so we can take it out into the countryside or we can go into dense city centres and test how well our navigation equipment works. It's equipped with high precision GPS inertial equipment. This room is what we call our visualisation and uh, image processing lab. Uh, so this room is where we we look at the subjects of photogrammetry, remote sensing, uh, laser scanning, uh, GIS, Geographical Information Systems. We do teach part of the course as a residential field course and basically the students get into groups and they're given tasks to do over five days and they go out and, and perform those tasks in the field and we do give them help and, and guidance but mainly they solve the problems that they come across by themselves during the week with the equipment. This facility was designed into the building. It's on the roof of the lab so that uh, we have clear sky access to the GPS signals. The train is designed to test precise positioning equipment by uh, enabling us to take that equipment around a precise repeatable track. The first practical that I ever had at university um, was using metal chains to measure distances. Um, and we don't even bother to teach that to students anymore. Um, now it's all about the technology and how to be able to use the technology and an understanding of the technology. There's no point as educating people for the sake of it. We're educating people that we think industry needs in the future. And with the growth in satellite positioning technologies, that's where the stimulation has come in terms of this grown interest in, in location technologies.